We're getting crazy in Hello Neighbor today. Come join me for the craziness. Everybody, I am Kindly Kin, and welcome back to Hello Neighbor. We're just in the standard game. We're not playing any mods today, but we are using a very special tool that is near and dear to my heart. This, of course, is the trainer uh, built and designed by Greenhouse M13 himself. One of my favorite things that has ever been made, ever, honestly. And you're able to do a lot of crazy stuff with it. I imagine a lot of you have seen my other Hello Neighbor videos. We've done some pretty weird stuff in Hello Neighbor using the commands that we have access to with Greenhouse M13's trainer mod. And of course, one of the things that we can do is we can summon items. We can spawn them at our will. And so I have created a custom command to spawn boxes. And in the past, we have built box forts the old fashioned way, right? You know, you just take a box, you stack it on top of another box. It's very tedious, and it doesn't result in the most epic box forts you've ever seen. Today, we're taking that process to a new level. I'm going to show you guys something. If I go into ghost mode here, I can spawn boxes basically in a giant tower. So check this out. I just I just tap the one key as I fly upwards. Look at that. That is a giant wall of boxes. Something gets really weird if, if I knock into them. They then fall apart. They like domino, <laughs> which is actually pretty cool. But using this technique, we can build a box fort like no one has ever seen before. And that is precisely what we are going to do today. We are going to try to encase the neighbor's entire house in boxes. We're going to build a box fort around the neighbor's entire house, or at least attempt to until the game blows up. So essentially what I want to do is build a wall of boxes right in front of the neighbor's house. So I'm gonna do my best to do that as quickly as possible without him anno- Oh no, he's- Oh, I don't like the fact that he's kicking my box wall. Oh no, and he's gonna use his vacuum. Rude, very rude. So I'll tell you what, we're gonna use this very special command, friends forever. Boom. Now the neighbor will not chase us or hurt us and he'll leave us alone to build a giant box fort around his house. Because who doesn't want a giant box fort around their house? So let's go ahead and just clean up this one. Look at it. <laughs> that is such a cool effect that is created by that. I love it. Oh my goodness, this is awesome. All right, let's try this again. Here we go. Okay, okay, okay. Gotta go a little bit slower so that there's not so many gaps in the boxes. I think that's pretty good. And I can always fill in the gaps. I just have to be careful about bumping into it because I think if I bump into these box towers, uh, they will come tumbling down. So I'm going to avoid that at all costs. Let's see. Oh no, actually when I'm in ghost mode, I can go right through them. So that actually helps out quite a bit. Let's do it again. And this is basically going to be the process all the way until we, we finish. Okay. So as you can see, it's coming together more or less. I've got some floating boxes around here, which I don't like, but you know, we'll, we'll just deal with that later. At this point, I feel like I need to create like an entryway for the neighbor. You know what? I'm going to get this lawnmower out of the way. Get that thing out of here. I need to make like an archway so that he can get in and out of his house. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. You guys have to see my progress so far. This is taking way longer than I was expecting it to, but it's turning out awesome. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. So one of my goals here is to keep this front window exposed. I, you know, I want the window to be a part of the box fort. So I'm doing my best to do that, but it is kind of tricky because it's, it's very tedious, but it's getting there. We're making progress and I'm happy with this progress. This is gonna look so cool. All right, update for you guys. That is amazing. Honestly, I, I couldn't ask for this turn out any better. It's kind of Dr. Susie-ish and just insane. But at the same time, it's, it's beautiful in its own way. Truly the most glorious box fort we've ever seen. Now, admittedly, progress is slow. That's okay. The front is probably gonna be the most intricate part. So hopefully once I get to the other sides of the house, I can just build walls. That's my goal. Make the front pretty, make the sides effective, I guess. I am very concerned about one thing though, and that is that the neighbor likes to walk around. And if he bumps into these boxes and perhaps 
kicks them, for instance. Like, he's getting really close. Oh my gosh. He might cause, like, a chain reaction that essentially knocks down the entire thing. That would be devastating. I would cry. So, I'm doing my best to keep the boxes out of his pathway. But let's carry on. Okay, so it probably doesn't look like I've made all that much progress, but I actually have. This entire left side is done, at least in the front. And the game is also starting to slow down quite a bit. So, I'm hoping that it doesn't blow up and die, because that would be real sad. I would at least like to get the front covered. Make it a proper house box fort. So, we'll, we'll just uh, hope that it doesn't blow up before then. Okay, so I have to show you guys the progress that I've made up to this point. My <gasps> fingers hurt, but look... <laughs> This, this looks so stinking cool. Look at the roof. It's boxes. From down here, it looks even cooler. Which house do you live in? Oh, the, the, the one made of cardboard boxes. But this is bringing cardboard box living to a new level. Oh my gosh, this is cool. So, I'm gonna do some finger exercises and continue the construction of my epic box fort house. You have no idea how much my hands hurt right now, but man, it's worth it in the end. It'll be totally worth it in the end. We're gonna have a proper house box fort, but it hurts. My fingers are melting away. No, not really, but they do hurt. I'm not gonna lie. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I typically record my video standing up. I'm standing up right now. I'm regretting it. I wish I was sitting down. Too late. I've committed to the standing and I will continue to stand until my box fort is done and beautiful and glorious. The pain is a motivation, right? It'll stop as soon as I'm done. <laughs> okay, it's update time. And also give a break to my hands time. Here you go, guys. This is the progress so far. <laughs> it's, it's glorious. It is truly Glorious, I like how the satellite dish is just kind of sticking out of the side of a bunch of boxes. It is so close to being as done as I deem done enough. I'm probably not going to completely cover the neighbor's house in cardboard boxes. My hands can't handle it. They are crying. And the game is also crying. It is running very, very slowly and it's only getting worse which is also making this whole process harder so my main goal right now is to just finish the front and make it look like the entire house is covered in boxes from the front give the illusion so that when you're driving down the street very clearly sticks out as a house made of boxes we'll get there but i must get back to pressing buttons and my hands are very angry at me Endure, hands. Endure. Okay, I'm getting nervous because the neighbor is doing his exercises outside. He's making these laps. He's he's going back and forth from inside the house to outside the house. And one of the things I notice is that he likes to jump over this railing right here. He doesn't like to go around. I don't want to build a wall right here because I worry that he'll smash right through it if I do that. So I think what I'm going to do is leave this completely open and then just fill in the rest of this area with boxes, and then we'll go from there. Oh no. Oh, I heard scary noises. Oh, what is he doing? I heard the sound of stuff getting knocked over and I was so scared that he knocked down the box fort. What is he doing? Where are you neighbor? Neighbor? He broke open the window and I have no idea why. Okay, okay, we might be pushing our luck here. I'm going to keep going. The neighbor's up to some weirdness right now. I heard like, it sounded like crinkling paper. I don't know what he's doing or even where he is right now. It's making me super uncomfortable, but we're going to continue. Okay. I'm just putting some of the final touches on our box fort. And then I will be able to show you guys the final design, the final concept, the completed epic box fort of the neighbors. My fingers want to die. That's okay. It's worth it. Okay, I think we're done. Let's see what this thing looks like in its entire. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's beautiful. It's, oh. I think the game 
crashed. Oh my gosh. Oh dear me. I have no idea what happened. I think that the neighbor bumped into one of the last boxes that I placed and this happened. This is what I was worried about and uh, well, it's happening. That's uh, that's a lot of work that just got completely blown up by the neighbor's stupid foot. Well, what better way to end an episode of Hello Neighbor with Kindly Kian than absolute catastrophe. Just couldn't ask for more of a disaster. <laughs> His house is definitely covered in boxes now. Not the way that I wanted it to be, but it, it is definitely filled with boxes. It's raining boxes. I'm not gonna lie, that hurts. I put a lot of time and effort into that and this is the way it ends. I was really hoping to kind of gaze upon it and enjoy it in all of its entirety for a little bit longer than that, but I guess the best we can do is just have a little montage here. A sad montage of the moments that we did have with my box fort house. Rest in peace. But there you have it, guys. That is gonna do it for this episode. I'm not gonna let this kind of disaster ruin my day. No, I'm gonna carry on. In fact, I'm gonna go have myself a sandwich because I earned it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on that little circle with my logo on it right below this window. You can also watch more of my videos by clicking on the sides of the screen. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time.